If you ever have practiced manifesting, you might have touched down to the part where you are to start assuming that you have your desires are fulfilled, but have you ever had a second thought in that intelligence of yours, that you were doing it wrong in some way, and have that doubtful question in your head, and all you want is just an assurance of what you are doing, while you are manifesting and assuming is correct? If yes, then you have come to the right video. Hello, and welcome back to my new video. In today's video, we are going to discuss on how you can assume properly that your desires are fulfilled, so that in future you will not have any doubts or questions regarding this topic in any way. I will be explaining you in detail about some ways which you can apply while you are assuming or imagining, and that's it. With just some steps you have done and ready to manifest properly. Before starting this video, I would like you tell you about something that I want you to keep in mind forever, and that is, don't have a doubt ever again on the process, yourself and the universe, because it delays the outcome. If you have already done that then let it be. Let the past stay in the past. And from now on don't have any doubts. So before starting, if you want to learn about manifesting and creating the life you want, I have a Law of Attraction guide that contains eight step-by-step -step lessons in both audio and PDF format. You can access it from the link in the description. So without any further delay, let's get started. Assuming while manifesting comes in around the beginning of the manifestation technique or in Law of Attraction, and the same chore is what the whole Law of Assumption is based on, but what does assumption really mean? In English, the literal meaning for assumption is to accept something to be true or to suppose that some situation has already happened. And the happening of that situation does not really have a proof, it's kind of like a theory. For the beginners of the spirituality community, assumption can also be stated as imagination, and what it states is that it is to take your mind and put it in certain situation in your head and that situation has to have the perfect picture of your fulfilled desire that you have yearned for so long. That healthy desperate behavior has to be felt for your desire, for that assumption technique to work. So how can you assume properly? This technique which I will be mentioning is the most famous technique, and this technique is tested by me too, and surely it works like a charm. So the technique is to first sit down in a perfect place which quiet enough for you to concentrate on this task. Then close your eyes and dive into that inner gut of yours. And all you have to keep in mind is that you have to explore that inner self of yours and know that inner self so well that you know what is good and what is not for yourself in the present and in the future. Try to concentrate on that inner space if you are having trouble or are confused how to do it properly, then just concentrate in between your eyebrows, where your third eye chakra is, and feel the fall that you are experiencing. After doing that bring your thought in. Well, you don't have to bring it in because that happens subconsciously. What you have to do is to bring that thought of your success. That picture has to be clear in your head where you are succeeding and you desires are being fulfilled. In a way you are picturing the outcome of your desire. After doing this much add feeling to your imagination. Ask yourself, how will I feel if I was in that situation? And feel that feeling. Allow your heart to feel that. In that way some neurons in your brain activates and creates a rush. And scientifically speaking, that rush which you feel for the first time when you assume that you have reached your destination is the same feeling that you will feel when that moment happens in real life. For example, imagine that you have participated in a cross-country race, and you have trained yourself so much for so many running competitions, that now you feel like you are a pro at this job. You reach the starting point and the bullet goes off. You give all that you have, your power, your concentration, your everything, and within some time you reach the finishing line, and you are the first one there, how would you feel? Would you not feel proud and satisfied? That same feeling of win that you feel after winning is felt days before when you first hear about this cross-country race. Those same neurons are activated days before when you heard about the race for the first time. 
Similarly, when you are assuming that your desires are fulfilled, catch that feeling and try to hold it. What this does is, it activated those neurons and makes you feel good. Your subconscious also feels good, and your subconscious then forces your conscious mind to take actions towards your goals. Now let's go on with some examples. Imagine that you are manifesting money into your life. Follow the same above mentioned steps. First close your eyes to get into that zone and feel the peace building within yourself. Then think how would you feel when you are that person who already has all your desires fulfilled. In this case, imagine you are richer than you actually are. For example, imagine that you received money from your client for a job that you signed up for, or your boss gave you an advance of three months, plus they added those bonus amounts. Or imagine anything that resonates with you and picture the balance of your bank account going higher and higher. Pick up the number of amount that you want your account to have and picture that in your head. Picture that amount next to your bank account number and your name. It does not matter the amount of money you are trying to manifest, just take up some number close to the amount you desire. That can be higher or lower and imagine it. Now feel the emotion that you will have after you have received that amount of money. Get so into that zone that your brain starts to think that. That is the reality. Allow yourself to feel that emotion. Do not get disturbed by the outside world. For the moment, live in that imaginary world and live your fullest when you are in there. Try getting addicted to that feeling. So when you come back to the real world, your conscious mind starts craving for that feeling again and again. Create that version of you that has all the abundance. Don't only limit yourself to the bank balance. Imagine yourself doing all those things you would do if you were richer now. Like buy that car you have been wanting for so long. Imagine purchasing that house or that New York City apartment you saw a couple of weeks ago. Imagine living your best life and remember to feel that feeling. That feeling comes from within. And sometimes, when the force is not strong enough, it does not take much time for oneself to click back to reality. But when you are in that zone... And when you are manifesting, being in that imaginary world would later result to a very profitable thing that you did during manifesting. At the moment, it may seem like you are just very delusional. But as I said in the beginning of the video, never ever have any doubt on the process, yourself and the universe. For that moment, live like there is no tomorrow. Live in that imagination like there is no next sun in there. Imagine you living the best possible life you can imagine. Whether it be with your family, you pet, your lover, or your friends, include them in that world. Now after you have had the feeling, don't let it go. Try catching it. Get a hold of that feeling. Like I said, live like there is no tomorrow. Feel the openness that your brain and your heart feels. That is you when you get the overall outcome of your hard work and your manifestation. Now you may feel like you are getting out of that feeling. It feels like you were zoning out, but train your mind to go back to that feeling. Seek for some other scenarios that is able to evoke the same feeling again and again. If it feels like you were zoning out, find a way to get in again. Create that dominance over your head and stay over that feeling for a longer time the next time around. Carry out this process every day when you are manifesting. And you can see the changes happening in your life by itself. You don't even have to force yourself to do anything. You are going to involve different tasks in your life without even noticing it. Like we discussed for money, you can do the same thing for other things like relationships or getting into your dream company and being posted in the same job post you wanted to be in or getting into your dream college or anything you have been manifesting. So that all for today, we have finally come to the end of this video. If you have come this far, I thank you for listening to me. If you liked this video, press that like button down below and share it to your friends and family. It would mean a lot to me if you even subscribe to my channel for contents like this. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.